Okay, so that is about terminal uh, chipset and terminals. And then about the uh, frequency uh, spectrum. Uh, the 5G spectrum uh, is uh, decided uh, by the uh, United Nations uh, WRC. Okay, WRC is the World Radio Conference. Okay, uh, 15 is uh, this conference is held in uh, 2015. Okay, in this uh, conference, uh, it is decided that uh, sub uh, 6 gigahertz uh, is used for 5G. Uh, that is before 6 gigahertz. Okay. And this uh, uh, can also be separated in two parts. One is a sub 3G and a C band. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the first uh, frequency range that can be used for 5G. Uh, we, we also call this as a FR1. Okay. FR1 uh, frequency range, uh, the first frequency range. And uh, this is below 6 gigahertz, so it's called sub 6G, okay, sub 6G, uh, before uh, below the 6 gigahertz, okay. And this uh, sub, uh, sub uh, 6 gigahertz also can be divided into two parts. One is below 3G, below 3G, is called a sub 3G. Uh, it's called a sub 3G, okay? Uh, below sub 3G. Uh, it's also the cellular band because of uh, most of these frequencies are used by 2G, 3G, and 4G, okay? Uh, and uh, above 3G to 6G, this is called a C band, uh, C band. So we can say that the FR1, okay, uh, it, these are called sub 6G, okay? Uh, all of this together is called sub 6G, okay, sub 6G, including sub 3G and C band, okay? And the mo now the majority part is uh, here, uh, 3.5G is the world most popular frequency band. Okay. Most countries will deploy 5G uh, on 3.5G, 3.5G, okay? Uh, so that is a C band, okay, C band. And uh, the other uh, WRC, okay, another conference in just in this year, 2019, okay, it decided that such frequencies can be uh, used by 5G. Uh, we call this uh, FR2, okay, frequency range two, okay. And these are using frequencies with very, very high frequencies. And these are also called uh, millimeter wave, okay, uh, because their wavelength is at the millimeter level, okay. Uh, and uh, which is most popular will be this one, uh, probably this one. So we can say that this uh, most of the countries 5G will be deployed on uh, 3.5G, okay, 3.5G or 28 gigahertz. Uh, but 3.5G will be the first wave, first wave, okay, uh, because this uh, 28 gigahertz is very high, of very high frequency. It can only be used for supplementary coverage, like some hotspot. It cannot be used for the main coverage uh, because its coverage is very weak. Okay. Uh, so this is about the frequency band of 5G. And about uh, the uh, frequency uh, band situation of different countries, uh, we can take a look at the picture. Uh, in the United States, uh, their majority part will be this uh, millimeter okay, wave. Uh, their C band is uh, occupied, it's not free, cannot be used. So they can only use it nowadays on the uh, millimeter wave. Okay. And some uh, operator has uh, some uh, lower uh, frequencies, but the lower side frequency does not have too much bandwidth. Okay. And uh, for some other countries, like uh, for the uh, Europe Union, like China, 
uh, Japan and uh, Korea will, will deploy this uh, in the 3.5 giga, uh, just a C band. Okay. And also in China, for China Mobile, uh, using this uh, sub 3G, okay, sub 3G. But the mainstream will be 3.5 C band all over the world. Okay. Uh, so that is what will be the first wave. The second wave of using this uh, frequency for the uh, complementary uh, for the supplementary uh, coverage. Okay. And, but uh, I think it's not this year. We leave it in the future. Uh, using this one to provide more bandwidth, more throughput. Uh, but coverage is not good, only for some uh, hot spot. Okay. Uh, so this is about the, the frequency uh, allocation uh, 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 of the world, uh, different countries. And the end-to-end -end solution is already ready. We just introduced from the chipset to the terminal to the frequency band. Okay. Uh, and from our system side, our core network is ready. Uh, the access network, uh, like the PTN, uh, like uh, the uh, IP RAN, okay, or microwave, also ready. Okay, and our radio solutions also ready. Our base station, okay, we can support. We can provide the small cells, okay, small cells for some hot spot coverage. Uh, small coverage, okay, and then 5G RRU. 5G RRU not widely used. Uh, you maybe usually used for the uplink, uh, supplementary uplink, okay, uh, and uh, this uh, super blade site, uh, MM uh, massive MIMO AAU pole site, okay. yeah. and in most of the case we will use this one, the AAU, okay, AAU, uh, yeah, like this. It can support. Uh, Massive MIMO uh, because 5G's frequency is high. Uh, using 5G MIMO can greatly enhance the coverage. Okay, and also in some some other uh, scenarios, 5G RU small cells, okay, whole cell, okay, uh, will also be used. Okay, we can say that also for some terminals, CPEs, and also other terminals also ready. So the end-to-end -end solution now are already ready. So we hope that we hope that the 5G can come to in our life as soon as possible.